Hey guys, it's Elsa Cottis. Okay, uh, I'm so tired, guys. I work like six days to it. Oh, guys, I'm so so tired, but I can't stop me from crafting, guys. <laughs> I just finished this layout last night, guys. It's, I just, I don't know, I like it. You know, maybe because not look like my style, you know. It, because it's my husband in there, so I have to have some little bit the uh, dark color there. So um, I'm gonna do a little bit of um, technique today. I'm gonna show you guys how you get this spatter look. Make sure you guys can tell there. See there, a little bit there and there. Okay, have you guys noticed that some you see somebody lay out and you wonder how they did? I'm not sure how they did it either. I seen only the video people they do like pattern they look like deep the you know in the I don't know linear stamp ganging and tap 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 like that. I can't do the stuff, guy. I don't know. I, I don't know. I it's it's I I can't do what I wanted to do, but. Make sure you guys, I did figure out this one, how I made this spatter look. It, you guys can see look like a uh, Photoshop spatter, you guys can... So that I'm gonna show you guys, you guys can see my messy here. So I'm not gonna create, I'm not gonna buy the new gun one because I'm getting tired of, <laughs> you know, get messy and buy the new thing the whole time. So anyway, I'm gonna show more you guys the effects. See the spatter look? You guys can see that. See, every spray that you do, you're not gonna get exactly the same. You can see it is not dry yet. I just spray it, guys. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. Okay. First, you need acrylic paint. Um, you know I like to use the acrylic paint better than a uh, metallic one. Okay. You need mini spray bottle. I'm not sure where you guys can buy this, but if you want me to sell, I could, but I need, don't want to. <laughs> because I don't know where I got it, but I remember that I bought like a couple years ago, it was too expensive, so... Well, I did keep it, it so too expensive, nobody gonna buy it, so I did kept it and I didn't know what to do with it. So now I know I do my spatters technique and you this mini bottle is perfect so um, you need water that's it so remember the acrylic is thicker really really thick guys so you add a little bit water in it don't add too much because if you add too much you go end up the spray like maybe stamp gang grandma miss whatever that is see that is it just give you a spray why okay you want to like it uh, like this look so you just don't add too much water in it that's it so I already have that bottle in so actually this bottle came in uh, the lid and that this one too but I did throw it away anyway I'm gonna use that one for the water so I can uh, see how much I add water in there a little bit too much water okay this one I already used is so many the own bottle so I don't have to use any one see that how thick that is you can see that okay so I'm going to use my uh, burn amber here that's uh, a kind of brown acrylic paint here so I'm almost with uh, the paint in there, you can see. I'm going to squeeze three of them in there guys, okay. I love, love use acrylic paint for art here guys. I'm gonna add a little bit of water in there, not too much. Okay, I can see that I don't have much. Oh, maybe too much. I don't know yet. Maybe a little bit more. You know, don't add it more because when you add it more, it's 
it short is okay but oh you can't take it out <laughs> you have to add more ink so I'm gonna we're gonna do some testing like a uh, spray first let's see see that is the water not mixed well with the ink yet we have to spray it a couple times yeah that's better that is good guys see that I still a little bit watered up now you're gonna spray on your um, paper that you want to do so I'm gonna have this uh, paper I know right the paper that I never use so when you do that I'm gonna spray the area that the one you want like I don't know if you could if you want to spray like let's see if you want to create some like I want to like this area is um get the spatter look so they gonna be like a photo frame or something I'm gonna spray that you see that and get that spatter look see so every time we spray it you get um different look see that guys I love love this guy look at that so again if you add too much water and you will be spray like in this damn gang, right? You get all, you don't get like a big chunk like spatter like this. So you want heat to, you know, you want to heat it dry. You can. Not sure why it don't spray the whole thing, but anyway. Okay, you can see how my spatter look. Okay, you can see that I just love this spatter look. So if you, you add a little bit of water, if you add too much, as I said, will spread like Linden stem can grow with you not add it all, it's too thick, it's not gonna come out. So you add a little bit tiny. So you will get this better look. I just love this guy. Look at that. So you guys, he did see on my that layout more because I just spray the whole canvas, but I end up cover with this. <laughs> Otherwise, you will see a little bit right there, here, and here, here. Okay, that's it, guys. Hope you guys like this uh, technique. All right, I'll see you guys later, guys. Oh, I will be out of town a couple of days, guys. I will see my uh, husband, family in Norman, Oklahoma State. Okay, guys, that's it, guys. Thank you, guys, for keep watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.